and then OK that. And now we're going to go for library directories. Uh, and then we're going to go here, edit, new line as usual, browse for the directory. And we're going to do the exact same thing again. Local disk, program files. And then we're going to go for, what's this called? It's Microsoft again, summer 2004. Then uh, we're doing library, so lib, you click on that. Uh, we don't actually have to click on that one, so uh, just select that folder and hopefully that should recognize all our files. So we'll find out if that worked fine in a second. Um, what we're doing now is, mm, 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 let me think. You see, odds are we'll have a couple of errors, but it doesn't really matter. Nope. Yeah, so I did write something here, hacks.h. So, um, this here, I probably shouldn't have kept this in, but basically what this is, this is a class we're going to create now. This is where we're going to write all our hacks. In our example, we're going to write our, I, I mean, I'm not telling you how to write your own classes, that's fully up to you, but on this tutorial we'll be following this simple um, example. So, um, I've got includes hacks, hacks here and hacks whatever, so I'm just going to get rid of this because um, we'll write this in a second, so um, you should do the same probably, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ignore this. So, um, let me just think about this. Um, uh, so, these will be necessary. So, don't don't delete them. Uh, I'll explain them. I mean, we're not going to write them, but I'll explain them as we do it. So, what we're now going to do is we're going to create two um, classes. Well, a class, sorry. Uh, but that's a header file and a C++ file. So, go here, add new item. And we're going to call this a C++ file, and we're we'll just call it, calling it hacks. Okay, and okay that. It's a new file called hacks. We can minimize these, it doesn't really matter anymore. And then we're going to create here, add new item, and make sure it's a, a header file, and we'll call it hacks again. The exact same font, the exact same everything, hacks. So, now we move on to our, um, let me just get my file here so we can start writing it. Um, <laughs> I've added it. Yeah, so uh, hacks.h is what we're going to start working on. So let's just do something. So pragma, pragma once. Now you'll see this used a lot in Windows. Um, and from what my understanding, basically the way this works is uh, is saying only run this um, header file once. So that way I won't re try to redeclare anything. So if I, if it hasn't been defined, don't um, uh, define it. Otherwise don't define it two times. So I hope that makes sense. So include windows dot h that's our first one. So I apologize if, if my typing's a bit bad today guys because my hands are really freaked up. Um I've been typing too much and they've really screwed up. So include um direct C uh so you open the what are they called I think they're called quotes. <laughs> they're definitely called quotes. But and then we're gonna do include and then open that I'm gonna C time Okay. Just C time, not dot H or anything, just C time. And that will be used as a timer. I don't remember if we actually use the timer or not. I don't know if this is necessary. If it's not, feel free to remove it at the end. I try to go over these notes quite a bit, but um sometimes I I do miss things out. And IO stream and now we use this for for the basic input and output stuff. So you'll see. I'll let you know when we do use it. And now what we do is say define Direct 3D all, all in capitals hook textures and then define oops, define um, capital max oops max menu items. Now the way this works is the game the way we're going to write our code is there's going to be a, sm a sm small simple formula that um, you know you put. 10, 12 items here, it doesn't really matter, you can put as many items as you like and the the menu will basically resize itself to fill in all those things. So if you do choose here like 10 items and you only put in 6, then you're going to have a lot of free space on your screen. Now, once we have done this menu, then you feel free to make any changes you like. Until then, I recommend you just follow me. Just follow me. So define wall hacks. So what we're doing here is we're defining all our hacks. So um, Although this doesn't really matter too much, I'm just gonna make a couple of copies. Do, 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 do. Oh, that was too many, but never mind. We'll get rid of it. And then custom, 
capitals, go for it, custom, crosshair. So these are just examples like I said to you, but I recommend you follow this um, thingy so that you have uh, the template. Especially if you're trying to follow my Call of Duty 4 tutorial, then um, there I recommend you follow this because all these hacks will be done by us. Unlimited ammo, uh, auto fire, that will be for um, our little clicker. And then hide menu, hide menu. Hide menu should almost always be your last one. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. And that's our five different ones. Uh, now what we're going to start off by writing here is class, hacks, open, and close. Um, this is a very simple class. Uh, There's a little bit of writing involved, but it's not too bad. So we're going to start off by writing int m stride. Now, uh, this won't always be necessary, but sometimes we'll need to use it. Uh, m stride. And now we're going to create all our function prototypes. Now this will be to be called uh, right here on a hacks.c++. So void hacks, create font. Now you've probably seen this earlier and that's fine. And then what we're sending into here, idirect. So if you don't understand any of DirectX, this might be a bit complicated for you. Now I'm not the biggest, um, well I've, I've only been doing DirectX for like a month and a half, so I'm definitely not a pro at this by any means. So I will be explaining what I do know. Um, but I can't know everything so direct 3D device the point of this is to design our menu not to uh, go into too much detail so device so what we're sending here into this class we're sending our DirectX uh, direct 3D device which we're going to use to draw stuff so it will be used to create a font in our example STD a type of string and uh, this will be our choice of font so what we're going to say is we want for example Arial and we send the word Arial in there and it writes it it puts our font to Arial. Now I'll let you know. I direct 3D device. Oh, what did I do there? Direct 3D device 9. Sorry, my bad there. Did that? Yeah, that's good. So just copy this a few times because, you know, we're going to have to write this a little bit. Just going to do that. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, hacks. And something I probably should mention. Uh, and this only applies for those of you that are watching this um, a few weeks after it was made. Um, basically, I won't be able to make as many tutorials as I have been doing in the last month uh, for the next month and a half or so because I've just gotten back to university and I've got a lot of assignments. So I just wanted to let you guys know um, that I'm I'm not going to stop making videos. I'm going to try and make as many as possible, but I've got a lot of work to do right now. And um, you know, I need to s take a small break off making videos. Not, I'm not actually going to stop at all. I'll still be making them, but um, a lot less frequent there will be. So, I just wanted to let you know that, so you guys don't get pissed off with me because um, I've got to focus on the my university work right now, and um, I can't screw that up because I'm only a second year. Um, obviously, as soon as it hits the summer, I'll be making tons of tutorials and stuff. I'll be doing the whole hacking thing so um, please don't unsub to me if I stop making videos for about a month um, I will try and make them as, as much as I can so what this initialize menu items is going to do is we're going to display all our um, basically we're going to say this me in this uh, line write this and this line write that so you'll see I'll explain in better detail when we are writing it so uh, draw text. Uh, this is our function that we're going to use to draw text on our screen. So you can use this to write anywhere. You can use this to write a message to yourself or to the player saying hack turned on, hack turned off, something cool like that. Or your name hacks like Fleep's hacks uh, or Fleep hack this game or so something cool like that. I mean, uh, fully up to you guys. So these functions can be used for pretty much anything, and that's the whole point of these. So LPC STR. So a pointer string here is what we're doing. Uh, LPSDR text to draw. Um, yeah, and then we'll go int x. Now we're saying where on the screen we're giving the 2D coordinates to display that int x in y. And then direct 3D color and color is in the Amer American spelling. Now I'm going to follow that there, uh, although I usually write with a the u there, which is the English spelling, but you know, fully up to you guys. Um, as I've, I'm guessing most of you guys are just from all over the world and you don't really care about the spelling. Um, actually, why don't I put this full screen? I'm used to having only like half a screen, so I want to put that full screen. Um, 
So I'm just going to zoom this in a little bit so I can have a better read and stuff. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, make sure my notes are good. Yeah, so what we're sending here is we're saying what color do we want that text to be and where, where in the screen do we want it to display. And this will be the text that we want to display. So it could be this is my text, for example. So next one is going to be draw menu. And what this does, this updates on, actually we don't need to have a, an underscore there. We'll just go draw text. So the next one is draw menu. And what we're going to do is we're going to send, uh, just like this one, we're going to send the, the device, the direct 3D device. Copy that, and then uh, we're going to send. We're going to call directory the device, and that's it. And this is going to draw our menu, as the name is obvious. Uh, and then we're going to say draw. Wow, that was bad. Field rectangle, rectangle. And what this is going to do? This one is the one that draws a fully um, a full rectangle. So um, you know a filled in basically so with the solid color inside not a border not like you see in box CSPs we'll do that one in a second so int x int y so we need to say where on screen do we want it to display what is the width of that rectangle and what is the height of that rectangle and then we're going to say direct 3d color because we need to say what color do we want the rectangle to be color and once again we want to send in the device we want it to draw the color with um, and that's good. So um, let's copy this actually. Let's copy this whole thing. Don't paste it yet. So then we're going to call it draw border box. And now this box will be what can be used to draw uh, ESPs in games. So you see those boxes around the players. We can use this to draw that. But that will be for another tutorial, of course. Um, and and now paste what you copied. So um, just get rid of that. So X Y W. So we need the width, the height, the thickness uh, of that line. So in height. Um, and then int thickness. So how thick do we want the borders of that rectangle to be? Thickness. Let me sure I spell that right. And then the color of that border. And then finally we need the device, the right 3D device, so we know what to draw with. And then we finally want to do uh, keyboard. Oops, keyboard input. And all this does is it recognizes, you know, you press down on your keyboard, press up, press right, left. I mean, those will be things for you to add on your own, but the up and down will take care of that. When we press send, we turn things on and off and so on. So um, all that is is a very simple uh, keyboard detection uh, function. And now we're going to do a couple of colors here, which we're going to use later on for our cams. But for now, don't worry about it. These are just the basic things we need for uh, pretty much any hook. So LP, forgot the D there. LP direct. LP. Oops. Direct. Um, 3D texture and be ready to copy this texture. Text red. Is that recognized? LP direct 3D. LP direct 3D. Texture. Oh, forgot the nine there. Idiot. Yeah, so that is it. Is that okay? Yeah, so copy this a ton of times, and we're going to have different colors. I don't know what's going on with the uh, pressing enter on this. So our second color is going to be text green. Now, you can find these colors online, although they're going to be, um, well, you'll see when we do them, um, text blue. So all these are, these are the textures we're going to use for our cams. So, for example, text red is uh, what we can use to paint our players red instead of their normal color um, text white but you will do that in the next tutorial after we've got the full direct text template so for example uh, on a, on what we'll do is our, our team members will be this color and maybe the enemies will be that color it doesn't really matter we'll find out as we do it and then we're going to do direct 3d viewport port uh, 9 and then we're going to go that viewport port put that as a capital because it's a global viewport and this we can use to uh, find out where things are on the screen so uh, it's also a very useful thing and then LP uh, D3 D X font uh, let's call that font okay so this is the font we're going to use um, to um, so as you can see here create font this is what we're going to use to store our font in um, we, you can probably put a better name to that, but it doesn't really matter. And then finally, what we're going to do for our menu, we're going to create a struct 
if you don't know what struct is, it's basically like a class 